Hajime, welcome back to Comic Jutsu. I'm JT McRoberts, owner and operator of the Comic Book Dojo. And today we're going to take a look at four John Byrne covers that you've never seen before. And here they are right in front of you. Let's get to it. Here you see the first one. This is part of the Marvel Super Heroes role-playing game lineup released by TSR starting in 1984. This is an adventure module starring the, the Avengers entitled Time Trap. That cover is unmistakably John Byrne. Believe it or not, it is a piece of original art published just for this adventure. There you go. Give you a little bit closer look at, at it. Next we have Murder World. This is an obvious John Byrne cover starring Arcade from the X-Men, classic X-Men villain, and the post-Secret Wars era Fantastic Four because they have the She-Hulk there who had migrated over from the Avengers. Here's a nifty entry. Cat's Paw, starring the still new at the time, Alpha Flight. This was released when Alpha Flight was in its mid-teens uh, run, 14, 15, 16, 17. And this uh, particular cover is a, and the, the, the venture module itself is a snapshot of what Alpha Flight looked like at the time. And interestingly enough, uh, I managed to find a listing of the uh, original art of this online. So we'll show you a little picture of that right here. Next, Gates of What If. Now this one is a little bit iffy because on the interior it says artwork by Jeff Butler and the Marvel Bullpen. There's, there are no specific named credits from anyone work, working with Marvel. But this Doctor Doom looks like a John Byrne Doctor Doom to me. And if you compare it to the floating heads here on the edge of this composition, you can see the difference in the line quality. I mean, this looks like a drawn and inked John Byrne Doom. And it has just been colored with this golden color to the armor. And then these heads were added all around it. I don't know if that's true or not. If this is uh, just a Jeff Butler piece, then apologies for that. The last one is a cheat because you've seen it. I saw it. Secret Wars 2. Fantastic John Byrne cover. And this actually served as a an in-house ad for several months leading up to Secret Wars 2, which had me so excited. At the time, I was... <laughs> beyond bought into the hype and this co cover tells a story completely different from what we eventually got in secret wars okay now as a bonus since we may have had a couple ringers here's a john Byrne cover for back issue he even credits it here down at the bottom after norman rockwell very cool and just as an added bonus bonus Here's a Mike Zek piece you haven't seen. Cover for the Lone Wolves Adventure. Okay, so all of these, with the exception of the back issue cover, were a result of TSR's classic superhero role-playing game, Marvel Super Heroes. And they were absolutely a blast to play, a blast to create your own characters. And these covers threw me off for the longest time because I wanted to know where they came from. I mean, I was certain that this was a John Byrne era Fantastic Four story. I thought this looks really cool. This looks, looks exactly like something John Byrne would do because he puts arcade. He loves to put arcade in his stories. I mean, he, you know, obviously he uh, created the character and he used him in Marvel team up with Spider-Man and Captain Britain at the time. And here he's the perfect person to combine Arcade with the Fantastic Four on this cover. And here, this, this Avengers cover for Time Trap. I'm looking at this going like, where is this, this story? You know, what, which run of the Avengers covers this storyline? I mean, it's got Super Scroll. This is classic John Byrne stuff. He loves to put the Super Scroll into everything, whether it be the Fantastic Four or 
Prince Namor, you know, just go down the list. I think the only thing he hasn't put him in is the X-Men. But if you count Alpha Flight, he definitely put him in there. So there you go. Original artwork created for a role-playing game by our favorite artist. Now, this one never fooled me. This just looks like a cover. It was it was composed for this particular <laughs> this particular composition, you know, these design, this design specifications, you know, it's got to be below the, the title. It has all this copy down here. So you only have this little space to play with. And to me, this just looks like just a cover for an adventure module because this, this black square here, it's animated in a way that it's just integral to this, this composition, to this design. And again, this thing for years, I thought, John Byrne had done the entire thing, but looking at the heads, it's obvious that those are all Jeff Butler. But that Doctor Doom, and by the way, this is really fun. And here's another conspiracy theory for you. What if this cover is what inspired Secret Wars run of the mid-2010s? What if? And then, of course, this great cover for a, of an extremely, probably the most disappointing <laughs> limited series comic book run storyline of all time Marvel superheroes Secret Wars 2 there you have it John Byrne pieces you've never seen before I hope you enjoyed this little little peek at this little curiosity this little oddity if you're a John Byrne fan like me you'll probably enjoy discovering these but don't make the same mistake I did as a kid and go out and search for those storylines because they don't exist but if you do want to create them with your buddies, I guess you can still play the game if you want to. It was a blast. It's a lot of fun. So if you want, give it a try. Thanks for watching. JT McRoberts. Hope you liked this video. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Give me suggestions on some of your favorite role-playing game covers. Were they classics from D&D &D by Elmore or was it something like this? A unique piece created for a superhero project.